Now you're dead. this. that.
there we go. Okay, Serana, let's go. I can't even begin to imagine how much time she spent in this room. Isn't it too cozy? Look at this place. This has to be it. I knew she was deep in the necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I have no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously... something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. I remember she used to keep a small journal. See if you can dig it up. Argonian maid. <clears throat> All right. Any luck yet? You did? Let me see them. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used, they end up in the soul can. The Soul Cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. Sweet. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the Soul Cairn. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground polymer, a good bit of purified food sauce. Oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of Hippolyte, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do... Hmm, not that... Anyway, enough of that. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. We just need to find them. sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Okay, here goes.
Trying to take your life essence as payment. Dope. There might be. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go. Not your first choice, I guess. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the Soul Cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that... whatever... I know that better than anybody. Have you made up your mind? Are you sure? You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the Soul Cairn. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. No other way. I never do anything that could hurt you. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time then. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Help me find my Arvac. Arvac, my horse. Please, he's such a loyal creature. Arvac? Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! I heard stories about the Soul Cairn, but never thought I'd see it myself. So far, it's. Uh, not what I imagined. Soul can. <laughs> Arg. Hello. Hello. There we go. Ever. Okay, there's no map mar marker for Arvac. Who's there?
Arvac. to do. Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Coming from one who murders vampires as a trade, I hmm. find it hard to believe your intentions are known. I could see that. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volkahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Oops. You think I'd have... The scrolls are merely a me. When I fl... The scroll I... The second scroll declare, like myself. Tradition, we call such confluences. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana. And why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, in his eyes, she'd be... And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? Have you been listening to me? You care nothing. Whether or not you're here because we're abominations in your mind. Serana? This stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. 
Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes, the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes, I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him in overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. No worries there. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. 